Head up. Okay. Let me butter your dog. All right. So here we have a situation where a dog just wants to do whatever the dog wants to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore that I even have a dog. And I keep my hand steady. And all I'm going to do is turn, go. And when I get to this end over here, I back up, turn, go. And if the dog gets ahead, what happened? I back up, turn, and I'm not making any corrections. I'm keeping my hand consistent. Yeah, the dog's starting to second guess that. This works better if you have a six foot lead when you do this too, because you can hold it in half, and when the dog hits the end of that six foot, it's like, oh, what did I do? And this will stop all this pulling thing. Another thing that causes what this dog is doing is eye contact because it wants to look at my eyes and I don't want it to see my eyes. So that's where eye contact with your head up, not looking at the dog will help in this situation. And when you do this, you have to just be consistent. And if you're consistent at this, then the dog will eventually stop all this nonsense. So I come over here, back away, dog is straight, turn and go. Come over here, back away, and I'm putting my palm out, and look at how the dog is reacting to that. It's not crossing in front of me anymore. Palm out, back up, turn, palm out, and stop. Just like that. Do you guys see a difference in that dog? The dog is starting to key off my hand. What's going to kill that is eye contact. Yes? So, I noticed that because the dog was checking in with you for the eye contact, and when he didn't get it, he just kept on going. Exactly. That's great. So when you give that eye contact, you're giving this dog a tool. And that's not a good tool. <laughs> So especially with this breed, because they'll use the heck out of any button they can push. Okay, so head up. Take your dog down and back, please. Put your palm in and keep your hand low. Okay, put your palm out like that. Beautiful, keep going, keep going. Look at the difference there. That was fantastic. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how such little tiny things can make such a big difference right there? If I'm gating this dog and my hand's high, is it going to catch the signal? No. Sometimes you have to over-exaggerate this in the beginning part of the training. What happened when I had my palm out like this? The dog didn't cross over in front of me anymore. Because I'm telling the dog with body language, stay over there. If your hand's up like this and you go like that, it's useless. If your hand's in tight to your body and you go like that, it's useless. So over-exaggerate, get the dog to key off of this, not your eyes. And like Christy said, once the dog is, is trained, you can do whatever you want. It doesn't make a difference because the dog knows what to do. Okay, so here's another thing where you can use that palm. When you go to get to this corner right here, you're gating this dog, and you're going to tap the lead. That means something's going to happen. When you get to that corner, turn your palm out like this, and watch that dog make that corner. Okay? So on the pinky, and come down the bottom like that. And then, so you're going to tap, palm in. Tap, palm in, like that. But the dog has to see this. It's got to be low like this. I'm pushing this dog away to make that corner over there. Later on, when the dog is trained, you're going tap, tap like this. The dogs in front of you can feel that and will make that turn. Okay, so take your dog around to the end, please. 
Head up. Good posture. Okay, palm into the ring. Yeah, see, your, your hand is way back, and so the dog can't see your hand. So that's what you, you got to get the, the, your hand so the dog can see that. So even if you have to go like this. Okay, so back up, head up, good posture. Okay, now turn your palm in front of the dog. Nope, your hand's too far back. That's fine. Just go. Okay, can your dog see your hand? Yeah, so that's one thing that you need to work on. You guys, look up here. If your hand is back here and your dog's head is over there, can it see your hand? So your hand position needs to be way out here. And you don't want to do that because you feel like if you're, you want to hold the dog back. You've got to take the leap of faith. You've got to put your hand out here. You've got to turn. And that dog will, you need to teach the dog to key off your hand. Okay, so take your dog to the, around to the end. All right, let's see this dog down and back, please. Isn't this fun? You're learning so many cool things. <laughs> Come back. Okay, where, where are your eyes the whole time? Yeah. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, if she looks at her dog one more time, each time she looks at her dog, you guys each get 100 bucks. That, <laughs> this is going to be very expensive. <laughs> so I want your posture up. I want you looking straight. I want your dog to key off your hand, not your face. Okay, so give me a down and back. Good. Put your palm out. Good. Good. Nice and smooth. Smooth out your gait. Think smooth, 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 smooth. Very nice. Take your dog around. Now, I want you to pay attention to your palm. Okay. When you get to that corner, you need to signal and then palm and say, turn, turn, and that dog will make that corner. Okay, let's see what you got. Very nice. Okay, turn. Beautiful. One more turn. Signal, turn. Beautiful. That was nice. That was very good. Very proud of you right there. Okay, let's see this dog down and back, please. Okay, come back. You're way, way focused on your dog. Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay, so what you need to... <laughs> okay, I want you to learn how to train. This dog is amazing on learning things. This breed is extremely smart, but you can't focus on it. You can't fidget with this dog mm -hmm. because what's going to happen is it's going to think that there's something wrong and judges, there's a lot of judges that are little kind of wishy-washy yeah. when they come up to this breed. Okay, and a lot of that is it's like a, it's a vicious cycle because you're worried about the judge, the judge is worried about the breed, and you put those two combinations together and you get this. So what you have to do is you have to, you have to be the confident one. You have to have good posture. You have to have your head up here. Remember, this is submissive. This is dominant. If you're not in charge then this dog needs to be in charge. You don't want this dog to be in charge. So here, I want you to stand up straight, let the dog key off your hand, and give me a nice clean down and back. In charge. This is the best dog here. Beautiful. Very nice. That is gorgeous. Okay, now back away. Don't look at her. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. And now you looked at her again. I did. Okay. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> so here, now I've got the dog looking at her. How am I going to see expression if she's the one stealing that away from me? Okay, so if you don't look at your dog, then the dog's going to look for something else to look at. And I get to see this beautiful expression here. Plus, when you look down and you're over the top of your dog, you're telling the dog something's wrong. Mm -hmm. So that puts the dog on alert. 
I want you to do that one more time, but I want you to hold the end of the lead this time. Okay? Just, like that? Just sure, that works. <laughs> okay. Now, give me a down and back, and do not look, have confidence. Drop your hand down. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now come back to me. Don't look at the dog. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Keep it smooth and just stop and don't do anything. Good. Now, the, oh, very nice. <laughs> very nice. See, that's what you want right there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can look over the dog. You, this dog has great expression, but the judge is never going to see it if you're stealing that back away. Okay, when we get to get to a point where we're teaching, coming back to a baiting judge, this dog's going to be dynamite with that. Mm -hmm. All right, take your dog all the way around right. to the end, please. Good confidence, palm into the ring. Beautiful. Did you see that dog make that turn? Fantastic. That was gorgeous. Okay, so then you praise and ignore at this. Let the dog just kind of see what's going on. Isn't that amazing? Little tiny things make a big difference. All right, let's take this dog down and back, please. Always confident. Beautiful. Hold the end of the lead. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. This dog would look so much better if it had more lead. Yeah, that lead. Can you guys see, you know, the dog is just like, it just, just a little bit more. It just wants a little bit more. The body language is, is telling me that right there. And when you get to the end over here, don't just let the dog stand there and look good and, instead of what you see in the ring where people are doing this. Because this is a pretty dog. But once you go like this, now you're getting the attention back on you again. I don't want that at this point. Okay? So, yes, exa I'm explaining it to her. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a lead that's a little bit longer? Okay, and, and never have a tight lead in the ring. You know, let that lead loose. Teach the dog to stay in this area. When they move out to the end, you can bump them back, but never have this lead tight. That's just, that's too much pressure, too much tension. It doesn't look pretty right there. So when you're holding this dog, can I borrow this dog for a second? When you're holding this dog, it should be loose like this. Ah, thank you. Ah, ah. You bump over, bump over. See, the dog is testing me right now. And I want this dog on a loose lead. I don't want the lead to be tight. So here we're kind of checking things out. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, good, good. And that little loop is what I want. And that also helps earn respect that, hey, I'll let this dog be on a nice loose lead, but it has its boundaries right there. And let it see things. Ah, uh, ah, uh, head up, head up, good. Good, good, yes. Bless you. Yes, I have <laughs> See, and here's where you use the environment here. You know, I don't want the dog to focus on me because if it sees other things out there, then it might look pretty good. But if it's focused on me all the time, it looks like I've got a pet out there. Okay, go ahead and take your dog and take your dog all the way around. When you hit that corner, I want you to tap and turn your palm in. Keep your body straight, good posture and confidence. Okay, all the way around. Don't look at the dog. Give it more lead. Good. See, that's a good looking dog. But if, yeah, give her a hand. But short lead just kills it. Because then I can't, the dog just looks like it's tense when you have it on a tight lead like that. Okay, let me see this dog down and back, please. Come back. Why am I having you come back? That clipped my dog. Yeah. Confidence. Confidence. Head up. Confidence. Back up. Nope. What was that? I looked at the dog. Why? <laughs> to make sure he was following me. <laughs> he should, be, he should be, be with me. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question that's not politically correct, but who weighs more, you or the dog? I do. Okay. So if you go that way. He'll come. He'll go with you. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. All right. So bring your dog past me. Head up. Confidence. Walk back. Don't look. Don't look. Keep your hands steady. Beautiful. 
See the dog focusing on her body language? Yeah. So what's the body language of this dog right here? Does he have enough lead out? He's like, nah, give me just a little bit more. And if you don't run smooth, what is he doing? He's like, you know, dodging all over the place. If her hand was smooth and she focused not on the dog, but just on that smooth hand, will that smooth the dog out? Let's try that. Okay, I want you up. Do not look at the dog. Back away from me until the dog is straight. Just keep going. Okay, now turn and keep your hands steady away from your body. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now back up. Keep your hands steady and away from your body. There it is. Good, 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 good. Don't look. Thank you. Good job. Yeah. See, that will smooth that out. But sometimes we form habits when we do this. And when we form those habits, they're hard to break. So I want you to back away from here and take this dog around to the end. Really? Don't look. You're killing it right there. It only takes seconds. Keep your hand low. Good. I know it's difficult, guys, and this is why you have to videotape yourself. Give her a hand. It only takes that quick for you to look at your dog and, get, and mess things up. Let your dogs have that freedom like the backyard. If you're looking at them, then all of a sudden they have to please you. And if, if you don't have that happy, smiley face, then your dog's going to get tired of doing this. So, all right, let's see this dog down and back, please. I want more lead out, too. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Good. How old is this dog? Six and a half months. All right. So it's like, yee-hoo. That's cute. If you have a dog this old and, it, I'm, and it's moving, then woohoo. <laughs> so don't worry about all that stuff. It will, things will come. I'd like you to do that again, but this time... One thing I'm going to, yes, I know, sweetheart. One thing I'm going to suggest okay. is that is not a good training collar. <laughs> right. I have more at home. Okay. You, <laughs> flat link would be the good. Because what's going to happen with that is it just slides. So there's no clicking or anything. So hold, yes, hold the end of the lead, the very end of the lead, and give me one more down and back without looking at her. All right. No talking, no just go. Keep, keep your hand in front of you. So you've got to give her something to key off of. And you're hiding your hand. Nice and smooth. Okay, keep, keep your hand out in front and steady. And don't worry about where she goes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> See, this is the part where most people give up. And the reason for that is because that's not fun. It, I really would like to see, at least, even borrow a flat link, because if you're going to train a puppy, that, all that stuff is, is not good for that. The reason why people give up at that stage and they start stringing the dogs up is because you don't look good like this. I don't care how goofy I look. And I can look, ask Christy, I can look pretty goofy. So, <laughs> yeah, hello. Oh, she's being kind today. <laughs> oh, you're chewing? Yeah, okay. So here, if you, if you, um, can you get her set up with a flat link that she can borrow? Thanks. Do you want to use this one? No, let's get her set, because you need that, right? Don't you? Yeah, so it's, I want her, yeah, yeah, that'll work. If you have especially a puppy right here and you let the puppies do all that fumbling and stuff like that and they learn how to gate with you, you're going to have a beautiful looking dog later on. Now here's a situation where once we get the flat link on, I would be doing head straight, head straight, head straight. How do you think this dog's going to react to head straight? This dog is not going to like it. This dog's going to be fighting. This is the same breed that put the scar right here on my thumb. So they can be a little headstrong. So what I want you to do is I want you to do a lot of head straight, head straight. And it's very important 
that you ignore this dog, your hand, look at me for one second, your hand is down here so you teach the dog to key off of your hand. If you don't do that, then this dog, she's gonna grow up looking gorgeous, but she's gonna be barking in the ring, she's gonna be running all over the place, you're never gonna see the true beautiful gait on this dog. So we can control them or we can train them. I'd rather train them. And if I had this one, I'd have a six foot lead, flat link collar, I'd be holding the end, it would be running around my legs till I trip, until it got to the point where it understood my hand position and where I wanted this dog. And it could take three months for that to happen, but it would be three months of well worth training as opposed to just taking this dog and guiding it all over the place like that. Beautiful. Okay, so let's try that one more time, just halfway down and back. Hold the end of the lead only, don't get the dog's attention and just go down and back and concentrate on your hand being right there it is. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, good. Okay, and I'll take her around to the end. Oh my goodness, head straight big time. Okay. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Did, did you, <laughs> yep. But look at how beautiful that dog looks when you see three good steps. Fan, give her a hand. Okay. She does not have an easy road ahead of her. Okay. You're going to have to do a lot of just forgetting about what people think and see. And you have to do that head straight and a lot of ignoring. Because you, she's going to just push every button she can find. But if you do this right, I guarantee you're going to have a dog that's going to go out there and look absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Okay? So balls in your court there. All right. Let's see this one down and back, please. Come back. <laughs> Why am I having you come back? I'm watching her. The whole you're you're just like right over the top like a zeppelin, just like falling right, you know. And they're like, oh no, she's gonna fall on me, you know. So, so that's why I say, you know, with the judge too. I mean, I want to see the confidence. I want to know that you truly believe in this dog. And if you're like, oh, you know, it's like, no, this is a dog show. This, you know, give me something that is extraordinary. That's not extraordinary. It's, it's more like, there you go. That's what you want right there, isn't it? <laughs> so you got to have that confidence there. So give me a down and back. Do not focus on this dog. Let the dog focus on your hand. Down and back. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let out a little bit of lead. Let out some lead. Good, drop your hand, oh, look at that. Right there, that's it, beautiful. <laughs> Fantastic, that was good, awesome. What? Oh, yay, whoopee. The, do <laughs> the dogs go, yeah, mom, I knew you could do it. <laughs> okay, take this dog around to the end. Don't look, just go. Drop your hand low and palm into the ring. See, she's gotta see that hand. She did, the hand was way too high. Wahoo for Coco Puffs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that was great. How old is this dog? 15 months. 15 months. So look at that tail going too. It's like, it, it looks like somebody's hand at the Sheltie grooming area. You know, it's like, <laughs> I swear, when you walk through the Sheltie area, where's my Sheltie lady? Aren't those brushes going like 500 miles an hour? It's, it's amazing those dogs have hair anymore. So... But did that feel good? Yes. yes. And it's going to feel better. So you just have to take that leap of faith, keep your hand down. You guys need to have your dogs focusing on your hands, not your eyes. Okay, take this dog down and back, please. Look at her now. She's like, what else is next? Good, good, good. Very nice, very nice. Drop your hand down. Good, good. Yep. Good. 
Good. Very nice. Very. Oh, that's beautiful right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wahoo for Coco Puffs. That looked awesome. That was great. Now, a, one thing I want to change is when you get to that corner, something typical that a lot of people do is you just like, oh, I went down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then she went down yeah. and she dropped her head down. Okay. If you have that confidence, they're going to lift that head up like what we were talking right, about yeah, a little while ago. So what I want you to do is back away from me. I want you to have that confidence and be, in, be aware that in that corner, she has to key off of this hand. Right. So what I want you to do is when you're going, you're going to put that palm like this when you hit that corner so she'll make that turn. Okay, okay so back up for me and take her, take her around. Good, good. Okay, now palm, beautiful. That was nice. Woohoo, woohoo. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, that's a good stuff. Oh, I got a bigger piece here. Nom, 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 nom. You know, and another thing I like to do with my dogs is I talk to them. You know, I don't talk to them like, hey, you know, what kind of day are you having so far? But go ahead and come over here like you're the judge. I'm gonna back up like this. Come on, let's go. Good, good, good. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool, huh? Yeah. So you got to have fun with these dogs and you got to make it fun for them. If you're not making it fun, it's your fault that they're going to ground because you're not fun enough. And so they're looking for other things right there. I want you to take this dog down and back one more time and make it fun for the dog. Go with her. There we go. Look at, look at. Yeah. Look at that. Woohoo! Yeah. Arr, 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 arr. Drop your hand down. Drop your hand down. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Yeah. Get in my belly. Yeah. And look at that stack right there. Isn't that cool? There you go, my dear. Fantastic. I didn't know that's all it took. That's it. Just talk to me. You know, a little, little pillow talk there, right there. I'm not quite sure what I was saying. But. When, when you get these dogs and you just do what you see in the ring, there's no fun there. So when you do that, and your hand, I know, huh? And your hand is down, that head comes up and you show attitude. But when you string that dog up and your hand goes high, that head goes to the ground right there. Just let it drag, yeah. This is the training. When you go in the ring, you can string them up if you want, but, uh, <laughs> but there's no reason to. Yeah, I mean, she, this dog just showed like crazy right now. Okay, and then when you do your stacks, the same thing. I know, huh? Yeah, it's good, good, good. You know, play with them, let them have 